Item number SCP-6561 Object Class Neutralized Classified as Keter until April 4th, 2015 Special Containment Procedures Due to the apparent neutralization of SCP-6561, no containment procedures have been deemed necessary. After brief interrogations, all notable individuals affected by SCP-6561 has been administered Class B amnestics and released. Archived Special Containment Procedures There is currently no known way to save those affected by SCP-6561. Currently, the best course of action is to use all five beeps influence to attempt to halt the current amnestization of the unaffected. Until this happens, it is advisable to attempt to provide all unaffected individuals with nestics to prevent the Foundation's amnestization attempts. Description SCP-6561 was a belief affecting roughly 0.03% Note, believed to have been roughly 0.65% before Foundation involvement of Earth's population. Those who were affected by SCP-6561 believe that the concept of a more grey area did not exist until 9.57am on March 19th, 2015. Affected individuals also believe that the other 99.97% of Earth's population instantly had their memories changed to believe that the more grey areas had always existed. In addition, affected individuals believe that history itself was changed to include more grey areas, and that the memories of themselves and other affected individuals were the only evidence of what they believed to be the correct course of history. Archive Description SCP-6561 is a belief affecting roughly 98% Note, believed to have been roughly 94% before Foundation involvement of Earth's population. Those who are affected by SCP-6561 believe that a person or action does not necessarily have to be entirely good or entirely evil, but can sometimes be a blend of the two. This is referred to as a moral grey area. Affected individuals not only believe that moral grey areas exist, but they have always existed. History has been modified to show previous evidence of more grey areas. All of this occurred at 9.57am on March 19th, 2015. It is currently entirely unknown why this has happened. While there are a few hypotheses, see Addendum 6561-1. Nothing has been confirmed as of now. Addendum 6561-1. Creation of this article on March 25th. 2015, Beep, who was affected by SCP-6561 at the time, created this article. The article was written and thereafter sent to O5 Beep, who was also affected by SCP-6561. O5 Beep then used their various privileges to make it so that nothing could be removed from the article by any means by anyone, including themselves. Because this now archived version of the article could not have anything removed from it, it was placed within collapsible menus, which were the method that best obfuscate the previous iteration of the article. Archived Addendum 6561-1 In order to complete this article as quickly as possible, the following addendum was written with an official foundation text-to-speech tool. I don't know why this happened. I don't know how this happened. I don't understand how so many people don't remember the world as it is. I know I should. I've been dealing with anomalies for the past 24 years. I've never been on the receiving end of an anomaly like this. I've never been on the receiving end of any anomaly. As I said before, I don't know why this is happening. I do have an idea. There's something that did this. Some sort of being that caused reality to be shifted in this way. I'm guessing it just faltered a little this time. No idea why? I doubt it didn't it anyway. It'll fix its mistake in due time, I expect. It's probably done this before. It'll probably do this again. 
Maybe it's done it while I'm typing this. Come to think of it, I should create some sort of time capsule. A list of emotions of how it works now. I need to compile who I am before who I am changes. Happiness. It's just being happy. The opposite of sadness. When someone does something you like or enjoy, agree with? Do you know about agree with? Probably, well, when someone does something you agree with, it makes you happy. Sadness. If someone does something you don't agree with, or something happens that doesn't make you happy, you're sad. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm sorry. It's really difficult to describe these things in ways that account for the fact you might have no concept of any emotions that exist right now. Surprise! If something happens that you weren't expecting, you know what expectance is, right? It seems impossible for you not to, but it also seemed impossible for there to be something that wasn't objectively entirely good or objectively entirely evil. There was light, and there was dark. There wasn't any way to be somewhat one and somewhat the other. No one had even considered it, because it's not how morality works. That's not how emotion works, but now it does. How do I know I've always been like this? How do I know that my entire personality is the same as it was 30 years ago, or 30 days ago, or 30 minutes ago? How? I want to stay how I am. At least, I hope I do. I hope that how it is now is the best it can be. It's... it's probably not. No, definitely not. I'm not sure what whatever did this is trying to accomplish. But I know it is not trying to make everything better. At least, I assume. I know nothing about this. Whatever. No one does. No one knows anything about this thing that's taken over every part of our emotions. And I know that this isn't proper for an article. I just don't care. Sorry, I should get back on topic. I only have so much time. Trollance. So when something doesn't... Oh shoot, it's already noon. I have to get this to 053 in the next few minutes. I suppose I should close this out. A request to you, whoever's reading this. I don't know why whatever cost this didn't affect everyone, but please try to think about what you are now, who you are now, and don't let go. Don't let it pull you away. For our sake, I need to find some nestics. Addendum 6512, the neutralization of SCP-6561. On March 29th, 2015, all individuals affected by SCP-6561 were no longer affected and lost any memory of even having been affected. All evidence of SCP-6561's existence was erased with the exception of this article. Using all five beeps' involvement, as justification, the O5 Council does believe that the containment procedures, description, and verse addendum are all accurate. However, all sections that are archived are highly inaccurate and are only useful as an example of the actions of those who were affected by SCP-6561 due to the inability to remove information described in addendum 6561-1 Correcting all minor discrepancies introduced by time would be difficult and contribute little. No further action has been deemed necessary.